Hey, it's JJ from Crotos, and today we're looking at the everyday vehicle presets inside Crotos Studio Pro, and we're going to use them to cut some sounds to a scene in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is the footage we'll be working with, and traditionally we'd have to go through a bunch of sound effect libraries to find the right sounds to work with. But in this video, we're going to look at Crotos Studio and just see how much faster and how much more fun it can be performing the sounds in. Okay, so I've loaded up the Sedan Opal preset. I'm just going to hit the start button so you can hear how this engine sounds. Um, we have these four different perspectives that we've recorded for each of the cars. The engine, the exhaust, so the back of the car, inside of the back, the back seat, and inside of the front behind the driver's, um, inside the driver's seat. And we can blend these four together. We also have a balance between the vehicle itself and the kind of surrounding ambient sound. Um, so you can balance between those. We've got the drive dial which is how obviously you can control the, the speed of the car. Um, and then we have buttons for the starting of the, and stopping of the car itself, turning the car over. And you get those from those different perspectives also. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna play this back. And so this first scene, we kind of see um, a little spike in the speed. So I'm just gonna basically replicate this inside Krotos Studio and then drag the sound in just into the audio track below. So I'm gonna start the engine up. I'm gonna play the scene back. Like so. Hit the stop button and then drag this sound in below the footage. I'm gonna just trim the start of this here. Um, what I will do is I'll move the footage ever so slightly forwards. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one more pass over that. I'm just gonna use the RPMs ever so slightly slower just so it syncs up with the footage a little bit better. Drag the sound in, and then I will just remove the first one and delete this and bring this over here like so. And play this back. Okay, so that syncs up a little bit better now. So I'm just gonna trim this down. The next scene we have is the driver sees inside. He's already driving at a relative pace within this scene. So I'm just gonna dial in that part of the preset. So I'll press the start button. Move over to the driver side. And then turn the dial up. That should be enough. And then we're gonna drag this into the next audio track and just trim this down a little bit. So um, at one point in this, I moved the drive dial up and down ever so slightly just to kind of give the sound a bit of character uh, as the kind of revs are going up and down. I'm just gonna trim that down to this section here. Those two sound, this is how they sound together. Great, that works. So we've got this, we've got the next RPM pass. So this one moves a little bit faster and it goes up into the kind of high RPM. So I'm just gonna try and replicate that now. Play this back again. Move back to the side, uh, to the center. And just go watch the footage. And then I'm gonna try to replicate that. And then again, we just drag this sound in. Trim it up to where we can see that uh, RPM spike. like so. And then for this section, we are from an outside perspective of the car. Um, so for this, I'm gonna dial in some more of the engine and the exhaust, and I'm gonna move more towards the ambient section. I'm just gonna try and find some sounds for this. I'm just gonna jump over to the pro side, um, and here I'm gonna move over to where the ambiences are, and I'm just gonna turn those ambiences up. So you can dial these in. This is, these presets are only in Crotos Studio Pro, so you've got access to the edit mode to do any kind of tweaks and any kind of tailoring you need to do. So I'm just gonna do that here. So I've got my ambiences, I'm just gonna turn the levels up. Okay, so yeah, to my ears, that sounds a little bit more like we're looking at the outside perspective of the car. So I'm just gonna do a little pass of this and jump back over to the perform mode and then hit the start button. So I've got my ambiences. You can just hear the roaring of the road outside. 
And I'm going to dial in the vehicle now. And because from the outside perspective, we'll probably, um, based on where this camera is positioned, it's kind of to the side of the car, somewhere between the steering wheel and the exhaust. So I'm just going to place the XY pad somewhere in the middle of those two. Okay, and obviously Crypto Studio is always recording in the background, so it's just captured that section of the performance that I did. And then I'm just going to bring this in and I'm just going to drag this in synchronization with the footage once again. So I'm just going to do that one more time from the perspective of the footage. Um, it sounds like the drive is a little bit too high, like we're driving a little bit too fast. So I'm just going to slow down a little bit. Maybe somewhere like that. That seems to look all right. I'm just going to play it back and watch it. That certainly works a little bit better. So I'm going to drag that in now and put that again on the audio track below. So this drag and drop functionality, is just really easy to kind of pick the positioning on the XY pads that you need for the particular scene. You can kind of, you know, examine the scene, look at the parameter names and dial in where you need this to be positioned. And then with a little bit of trial and error, you can very quickly dial in something that sounds effective. So. I'm just going to put that into position and play that back now. Oh, just under the wrong footage. There we are. Okay, that's a little bit more believable. And then for the last section, we've got one more little RPM spike, and then we're cutting to outside the car again, but driving at a slightly faster pace. Okay, we're back to the middle. Back to the vehicle. Go back into pro mode and turn down those uh, ambiences again because we're back inside the car um, and then yeah we'll probably drive this to have this a little bit more situated towards the driver's side with a bit of engine and we'll watch this footage back so yeah this kind of starts at 3000 rpm and it's just one slow spike up to about 7000 rpm so i'm just going to try and replicate that a little bit more from inside the car like that perhaps and then I'll just do one big slow sweep. And another one for good measure. Drag this into Adobe Premiere, trim the audio down. So here I can see I've got those two pumps of the revs that I did. So I'll try the first one first. If it doesn't work, we'll just try that little second one. Okay, so a little bit too slow back down the RPMs on that one. So try the other one I did. That makes it a little bit better. Drag this over and then we've got this next perspective. So this here, we're right on top of the engine for this one. We're outside the car again. So I'm going to just jump back over, turn those ambiences back up to where we were. And then I will then jump back into the perform window or towards the engine because we're right on top of it, but we're outside. That could work. Um, this part of the footage, we are going quite fast. So I'm going to use the drive a little bit higher this time just to kind of signify the speed that we're traveling at. I find a nice suitable position between the vehicles and the ambience now that the RPMs are higher. So these things, you know, these can all be tweaked on the, on the go in complete real time to the footage. Okay, so for that pass, I tried to drive the speed. Obviously, when you're driving at higher gears and at faster speeds, you climb through the kind of miles per hour a little bit faster, uh, sorry, a little bit slower. So yeah, I just tried to replicate that with the, the motion I was doing on the drive. So we'll just drag this recording in now. That is all we need Croto Studio for. So I'm just going to minimize it and then go full screen. Um, so yeah, what we'll do now is we'll just play this back and see how it all sounds together. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I would really encourage you to try out the everyday vehicle presets. Uh, we have seven new presets that have been added from combustion engines to electric vehicles. There's fans in there as well. Each of these have this own performative aspect where you can control the drive, the driver perspective, the balance between the vehicle and the ambience outside. Because these are exclusive to Kroto Studio Pro, you can jump into the edit mode. The opportunities are endless really to get something sounding really authentic and truly tailored to your scene. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you find it useful. Go and have fun with these presets and uh, yeah, share any, any content, any videos that you create. If you want to share them with us, we're always keen to see how you're using our tools. So yeah, thank you for watching.